Heaven versus Hell. It's, it's a double album concept album. First half, I imagine, is Heaven, and then the second half is Hell, right? Uh, yeah, I would imagine. Yeah. So this is the Heaven half. Can I say something? What? I like this a lot. It's classic. It feels like classic pop punk. I like this. I like this a lot better than the new Blink already. Yeah. A lot better. Wow, they're actually harder than they. Dude, this is the. I can now see why people are saying this is their best record. The, I was. This is literally the best I've ever heard. This something. is hard. This is good. The drumming is incredible. It's really on point. This is good. This is really good. They're they're giving exactly what we what want. What we want. But it's even harder for them. Yeah. Like this is their their hardest album. It's because there's three guitarists. The drums are like fucking The Oh, the drummer is killer. Is, like, is the solid. guy who replaced Stevo is like a better drummer. Yeah, like this is And the reason why they're heavier is because they're three guitarists now. It's perfectly timed because just in the same sense that uh, new metal has had its renaissance, pop punk has had a renaissance yeah. as well. Kids like like this is going to. I, I feel like this Sum Forty One album is going to gain new Sum Forty One fans. And can I tell you something? What you're energized. I am. Wow. When we were listening to Beyonce, you were like, "Oh my god, fucking." My uh, energy level is completely. Me. Yeah. And now you're like, "Life me." Yeah. This is a shot of adrenaline. Oh, uh, this track is not as strong. This is what this is the hit. This is the single. Oh. I think I actually like give it give it the give it to the I'm, chorus. I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna wait till the chorus for sure, but Yeah. I mean it's fine. I think it's good. You got me hanging on. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've heard this song at the gym already. Oh. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty fucking memorable and catchy. I'll give it that. I don't like the whoop. I don't like the, the millennial whoop is shameless. Shameless. So it just lost a point. But other than that part, this is good cheese pizza. Better. This sounds like Green Day, which I'm not mad about. So far, I like one and tracks one and three more than the more than two. More than two. more than two. This song's average. Yeah. I give this song average. Yeah, I'm like eh. It's okay. This reminds me of um. Uh, it's all I want. It's all I. Offspring. Yeah. I feel like this, this feels very Offspring AFI. Yeah, I could see AFI, but to me, it's like but, like they're later to... l later AFI, not early AFI. Yes, early AFI is here's my oh. here here's my read on this album. Oh. Here's my read, okay? They're trying to do this retrospective of all pop punk. Yeah, they're trying to make a pop that's pop punk opus or whatever. Yeah. It's like here's the Green Day song, here's the here's uh, all the influences. Yeah, here's here's the Offspring song. Here's the that's why I uh, said Blink One Eighty Two song. That's why I said I feel like it's marketed like it's it. This album's coming out at a good time for for Gen Z. They're not doing some Forty One. Right. They're just doing pop punk. Yeah, yeah. Homage, homage, which is sick. This is very bad religion. It's also bad religion a also little bit. Yeah, too. yeah. Do you know about Bad Religion's controversial second experimental album? Their second album that's experimental, that's not punk? No. And they broke up and they got back together and then they were that was like the apex? No. I didn't I never liked Bad Religion. Yeah, they they've never been my band. They never they never I never hit for me. Yeah, I mean this is their Billy Talent song. I this, just had I just had to say it. This okay, but do you know what but, but can I say Billy Talent is like I think they're the best pop punk and they're the you, best you Canadian me, pop, mainstream pop punk band of our generation. Radio Silence. Mm, is this is where the album switches. It's called uh, Harm Reduction. Uh, <laughs> yes. Yes, go off, King. My Harm Reduction. Game. I like this song, by the way. Yeah. When they go more metal, it's cool. It is very there's cool. There's been a couple of fillery yeah, pop punk songs that I wasn't It's fine, though. It's fine.
I think so far I'm at like a six five. Cheese pizza. Oh, we're in the hell side. Oh, we're in the hell oh, side. Oh, heaven is punk, pop punk. Hell is metal. metal. Oh. Nice. I think I'm gonna like the second half better. I like it when they go metal. They have the chops for it. Yeah. Especially with three guitarists. And a really good drummer in Frank Zumo. Yeah. He's got a good D beat, right? Right? It's D beat solid. Isn't that what it's called? The D beat? The downbeat? D beat? No. Cut and cut and cut and cut. I don't think that's D beat. That's not D beat? No. What's the term for that? It's, I don't know what that would be called. I thought it was I thought it was called the D beat, but maybe no. I'm wrong. I like this stuff. I would say the second half is more hardcore than it is metal. This sounds more hardcore to me. I love it here. We're eating pizza and listening to pop punk. This is like hardcore Linkin Park. It sounds like it. Over the edge. He's over the fucking I'm edge, bro. He's about to break. He's about to break, man. Ooh, I like this breakdown. Dun -dun. Dun -dun. Double Dun -dun. pedal. Dun -dun. Dun -dun. Dun -dun. This is literally a Linkin Park cover, right? Yeah. Well, this is an interesting track. I don't like it, but it's interesting. Mm. This is their My Chemical Romance. This part isn't My Chemical Romance, but the other part of it was very uh -huh. MCR. Yeah, this part right here, this is the, the My Chemical Romance part. I like this stuff. Riffarama. Uh -huh. I might agree this is their best album, but because because it, it shows their their prowess. Versatile. Oh, I see. Their, 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 their technical their, prowess. Their, their yeah. technical prowess. Good song. Ooh, nice. This drummer is very good. Yeah, the drummer's great. I mean, granted, he's got he's been dumb drumagog to high hell. As in like quantize perfectly yeah. And I don't really care though It works for the genre How can you tell it's been quantized It's just perfect It's on a grid Recorded it to a click track It's everything's just very on beat Which is great for pop punk mm -hmm. I think this is one of those few genres Where it's like you know what Quantize it a high hell I don't give a shit It's pop punk This part's cool Yeah, I don't have any ear for that, so I don't think I would notice it. I mean, if you were like producing drums for hours, you would start to start to pick up on it. It's almost like an ode to Metallica. I'm hearing a lot of Metallica influence on this yeah. record, actually. Overall. I mean, Maiden and, and Priest were the gods that they praised, right? Mm, true. Yeah, the second half of this record is a lot better to me than the first half. But I understand that it's a smart concept. Yeah. Make your last record like, well, if you like our pop punk stuff, like our mainstream pop punk radio shit, here's a whole disc for you that we're going to leave you with. Ten tracks. Right. Oh, do you like our more technical metal shreddy stuff? For like people who actually like music? Here it is. Here's ten tracks. We can show off. I, you know what I want people to stop doing? What's up? Putting covers on an album. Oh yeah. Uh, stop putting a fucking cover on an album. Yeah, I'm gonna have to ask everybody to stop. I fucking hated it when Beyonce did it, and I don't like it now. Stop making fucking covers. Putting covers, covers on albums. Covers on albums. If I see you live and you play a cover, paint it black. Okay, that's kind of fun, right? But don't record it. I don't want it. We have a cover on the Gumdrop album where I sing, but it's like a. But it's a, It's like an unknown song. Yeah, it's a niche. It's very niche. I I, I hear what you're saying. We don't need another paint of black. This, but it, this is okay. Cheese we don't need pizza. another jo Jolene. We don't need another. What was the other one? The the oh the Blackbird. Yeah. Fucking hated that. What the fuck? That made me want to chop my own dick off. Second last song. Good, good start. We're off to a good start. Yeah. 
But it's hard. Uh huh. This is the hardest album they've ever made. Wow. I'm really happy with how everything turned out. In which direction? Show wise. Oh, wise. this was a great show. My body made it through. Yeah. And now you can sleep. Yeah.